Sandra, yes. Thank you, Juliana. Thank you, Guillermo. Now we're going to go on with a presentation by Ariel Weger. I invite him here so that he may tell you about the best um, operational practices of ICOP. Good afternoon, everybody. This presentation will be very brief, I promise. Do we have the slides? There. In, at LACNOC, we have several working groups. One of them is called BICOP. This is not something that people have talked about in recent times. As a matter of fact, it's quite uh, come. It's the working group that I coordinate. It's quite interesting, and we'd like everybody to get involved because this is uh, was designed for operators. So, what is a beacon? It's a practice. An operation. A beacon is is a is a documentation. Uh, it's a that is done based uh, on the experience on the, of the operators. And we document a process, a technology, a protocol, or something that may be used as a framework of reference for the community to operate certain technologies or certain services in the best way, uh, way known, or at least uh, in uh, um, the, the way that has been agreed upon by the operators. So documents are written. Well, why are we doing this? To produce a documentation and significant and interesting resources for the community. And the second thing is that in some cases, this documentation, as it comes directly from the operators, end up being a framework of reference for the regulatory um, agencies or authorities. We've sometimes heard that some regulations are published and they say, well, here they didn't ask the technical people. They didn't take into account uh, this uh, these details. Well, BCOP is like a library of documents of a range of topics that are relevant and current for the community. And at LACNOG, we have this working group on BCOP. What BCOPs are there at present written? There are many drafts, but uh, completed, there are only two. The first one is of the requirements of IPv6 for ICT uh, uh, equipment. Today, we saw a presentation of the right people. You may have seen the document RIP554. That is a document that specifies all the standards that a device needs to support to say that it is compatible with the IPv6. So basically, that document was done by a significant group of people that started with one that's called Iron Source, uh, Iron Source that came to several events of LACNIC. And what we did was to take that document that basically is a very short document, three or four pages. And the idea is that when you bid or when you purchase um, IPv6 devices, usually applying to firewalls and CPEs uh, and routers and switches, well, to say, well, in the bid that I'm putting together, I attach this document that is approved by the community with the requirements that need to be met to be able to say that they are standard and they support everything that we need. As we saw today, this document was update. When RIPE 554 uh, was published, um, Ian Sorza came uh, here and they invited uh, us to translate it into Spanish. So with Asael, we translated the document from English to Spanish so that people may attach it. Now we would need to put together a group of people to translate the new version of this document that's RIPE 772. 
some attempts have already been made of people who are doing that, but it would be good to have more people. So that's one of the big cops that we have in the region. The other was done together with um, the uh, MOOC uh, uh, and to discuss uh, the best uh, operative practices uh, joint practices on the minimum required of security for the acquisition of uh, local equipment. So, and it says, what are the features that the CPE sh should have to buy it uh, and to be reassured that there will be no problems? These two documents are published in lacnoc.org. There's a section that says articles, documents, and there you have the PDFs that you can download consider that as there's a new version in RIPE, it, will, uh, it won't be updated in Spanish. Now, I want to officially announce that together with uh, Nicolas Antoniello, I hope he's uh, watching, we decided to start the draft of a new beacup because we see that the operators are asking a lot, how do I deploy, how do I configure, how and do, how uh, and configure and operate uh, the recursive DNS server. So we have the basic skeleton. I didn't put it here because it would have been a very long presentation. But those of you working in DNS, in recursive DNS servers, that would be the simplest, well, to join a group. So we can hold uh, some meetings as short as possible with some uh, video conference platform, and we can de draft uh, the uh, um, document, and we end up uh, with very interesting documents that are useful for all the community. How can I participate in BCUP? Well, it's like IATF. There's a mailing list, scan the QR. It will take you to a registration page. And there you register and you start receiving the emails. I'll leave it there for a moment so that you can scan it. And OK, that's all. Not much more. Are there any questions or doubts? No questions. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you.